Hey guys, how you doing? Anonymous here. We're going to be playing some uh, random GBA games. Got a list of games I've been wanting to play on here. Um, starting off with Mario Kart. Super Circuit, one of my favorite uh, games on the GBA. Haven't played this in quite some time. Yo, what's up, Sakaizu? Welcome. Drinking a little uh, Dewars. Haha. Uh -huh. It's pretty good. All right, let's go. I feel like starting it. I don't want to start at CC. We'll start at a hundred. You know, I gotta represent my girl. Oh yeah. Remember that this was one of the games that looks good in the high res mode. 2x sprites. 2x both. Look at that. Sprites both. This is what the normal resolution looks like. Can you guys see in the background? Background, sprites, both. Oh man, I just got excited. I forgot about that. Uh, about that feature. Let me save here. Okay. Come yeah, on. I don't know if this has the power slide or not. Doesn't look like it does. I think that started with the Wii game. Is that you, Luigi? <laughs> of course I hit the tree. Yo, what's up, Egg? Dude, I'm so bad! I thought I was good at this game. Oh, snap. Oh, I got him. Nice. What's up, Gus Money? Dude, the GBA core is chef kiss. It's so good. Can you overclock the Genesis for racing? Um, does the Genesis have an overclock? I don't remember. We can check it out after this. Yeah, Super Nintendo has uh, overclocking. Should have the power slide. Do you have a? Does it have the? Does it have the power slide? Well, that's uh, something you don't want to do right away. Dude, are you kidding me? Yeah, I think the power slide started with the um, Wii game. Oh, this is a uh, this is an old Super Nintendo course right here. That was a really short power star. Probably should have saved that. These laps are super short. Nope. 
Probably should have just mounted up from behind me. That way, if somebody tries to snipe me with a, a shell. What's up, Raceroni? So I had the uh, I had the most excellent day today. Went to uh, Fun Spot in Laconia. It's a gigantic classic arcade. They also have like a candle pin, candlestick bowling, candle pin bowling, uh, a bunch of redemption games and whatnot. But I grew up going to this place like every summer. And it was a beautiful day in New Hampshire today. Most excellent day. Have lasagna for dinner. Man. I mean, a green shell? Did I just get effed by a green shell? What's up, Diddy? Got him. I think that's my banana, too. <laughs> I mean, I know how to power slide, but are you sure it's in this? You hold R and you go like left, right. I got the vibe that Fun Spot doesn't have much outside of the '80s titles. So it's the uh, it's the home to the like classic like a classic arcade museum. So it has a whole floor of '80s. Um. But then they, I mean, they have all, everything else as well, you know, like all the standard redemption games that you see at, at most arcades. You liked Konami Crazy uh, Races better. I've played it, I don't really care for it as much. And there's a Crash Bandicoot game too. This is a Super Nintendo game, uh, stage as well. Look at that freaking turtle shell I put in front of me. Okay, good. I think the steering is different. Oh, 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 oh. Stop it. <laughs> How did I not get hit? Oh, buddy. I'm sorry. You're you're, you're done. What? Because I didn't lose my uh, turtle shells. So color theory. Uh, yeah, it's linked in the YouTube video I posted. You just have to hold it. So it'd have to be a it would have to be a huge slide for it to kick in. I'll check it out, bag. I'll try to get make it happen. And also sup. 
I need to rename that gimmick, uh, emote sub, oh, non sub. Yeah, it was in fan. Thank you so much for the three months. How you doing tonight? Oh, new YouTube video. No, the, the, uh-oh, frames. The YouTube video that I linked in that, uh, in that tech demo, it has a link in it. I didn't test the frames today or tonight. How do I get a B rank if I got first every single every single lap? Still in New Hampshire, yeah, for another week. And it's like, the weather is like perfect. I guess it was too slow, yeah. I think you have to get A ranks to unlock, uh, all the, all the, um, courses in this have a mirror, uh, mirror stages you can unlock. I think you have to get A's though. I just got wrecked. Uh, excuse me? Ran over a uh, box. Oh, there we go. There's the little boost right there. Bag. Shit, dude. Are you freaking me? Look at how tight the pack is. I don't think I've ever seen something like that. Uh, can you stop being on fire? Definitely did need Yoshi gone. This is rough. I've never seen him this tight before. So weird. That was Luigi I got. Born and raised in Mass, nice. Yeah, I went to a bunch of concerts in Mass. I drove down to Boston a bunch of times. Um, stay in first longer, okay. This come after Mario Kart 64. It's a good question, honestly. You'd have to check the years. Yeah, it's like a beefed up. Uh, this is like a beefed up um, Super Nintendo game. And we are, since we're on the Mr. FPGA, we do. If you're just getting in here, we do have enhancements happening. So we have 2x resolution on the sprites and the background. So you, look, we can turn out, so that's with no enhancements. That's with background. So you can see the background clears up right away. And then the sprite, it helps with the scaling more than the up close. So look at something like, look at one of the sprites further away. See how it gets enhanced? And now both is both of the pictures. That's making me sick, by the way. <laughs> And before I fall off the sides. Do those ghosts do anything? Can I take and I can take that shortcut too. Not mean to do that. 
A longer lap there. Nice. I'm gonna try the shortcut. I should have used the slide there. I don't know if those ghosts do anything. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. I think I can do that faster next time around. <laughs> those little bumps can actually throw you over the, uh, the side walls. Peach, I don't know if it's worth taking that cut, dude, because it's, uh, you lose a lot of momentum. I did get a lot more ahead, though. You have the pocket. The, uh, analog pocket has GBA support, I believe. Oh, you're saying you wish it has this these options? Gotcha. Invisible bridge. I never remember invisible bridge. Flower cup. Cheese land. Did not get my enhancement there. Whoa, whoa, what's going on here? Holy crap. Okay. You don't have to stand in the middle. Got it. Barely remember this one. Oh, Luigi got effed. No, he didn't. He's right there. Bowser. Just like cutting the corners. Are you kidding me? So Peach does not recover that well in this version. Well, that's not gonna get him. I get him? Get wrecked. Let's get some head start here. Turns crazy. Ted turtle shell is making me super nervous. Where to make the background work with Mr. on VGA? Uh, you have to tie the scan doubler to it. You can create a custom uh, menu, but it's gonna boink your HDMI out if you care about that. It also doesn't look that good. So it's a it's a line you add. You do parenthesis menu in parenthesis, and then you put the uh, the specs there. I can try to find you the cut and paste. Um, yeah, it lets you hold it. You just have to hold down and then release it, then release it and hold the button down. Wait, what? Saw that coming. Whoa! That was nasty. Bruh. Excuse me? Alright. 
Sorry, Yoshi. Nothing personal. Thank you. That was wasted. Oh, sorry, dudes. This. I gotta get no second. I think I'll still come in first here, though. Where am I at? Thirty three. I'm like vibrating. And that's A rank. Oh, maybe it's the amount of coins? You can take out trees? You can, uh, I think, I believe you can slip on the puddles. GBA, Metro, and Castlevania games. They're so good, man. You don't play handheld games? I'd love, I'd love the GBA, not the GBA, uh, the DS Core to come out. So I can play some of those games as well. Like Ghost Detective. And some of the Zelda games. If that could be implemented. 
Now I remember falling off this one. I just triple shelled Luigi, that's funny. Sorry, buddy. Uh, I meant to put it behind me. DSi XL flash. Nice. I have a DSi light. I love it. Ping magical. Uh, Michael. No, I have not. I love ping games. So if it's a, if it's a good ping game, I'd be into it. Does it use both screens? That'd be really rad. I played played a uh, puzzle bubble or one of those games. I think in one of the games where it used both screens, looked great. I was really impressed in the DS when that came out. I didn't get into a DS Lite though. I don't know when to go. mess up there. Yeah, not goof around here. I tried to shoot it backwards, I don't know why it didn't go backwards. Does the XL have the GBA part as well? Uh, yes, in the bottom. Hot jams, you like the music?
Sunset Wilds. I don't remember this one. Okay, so it's like halfway. Ugh! Excuse me? I'm really bad at hitting, um, multiple speed up arrows. Dude, get off me! Watch me hit one of those on the way back. Yeah, the the different um sound effects on that was really pretty. Then it definitely is a learning curve, but you you learn what to do with it. A lot more soul than you remember. I remember this game being good, and I played it. It was one of the first games I played on the GBA Core when it came out. And I'm like, oh man, it's as good as I remember. Now that was actually before when this Core came out. It didn't have the um, the the two X resolutions and everything. Oh yeah, my Elvira shirt. It's my girl. It's actually when I, I, this is a, I bought this shirt when I was bigger, so it's like, it's really big on me. I should get a smaller one. So, because the mister is uh, accurate to the original, um, you know, computer, console, etc. There's some stuff that's VGA, there's some stuff that's uh, high res, uh, medium res, high res, so... And there's also some PAL stuff, so some stuff isn't necessarily compatible with 240p, so like over a um, PVM or component. And then like the Sharp 68K core is going to be medium and high res. Low, it's going to be it's going to be 20, 15K and 24K. So I mean that's kind of like a fault of it being accurate, <laughs> but um. Yeah, I, I've had to hook up an HDMI output and then a splitter for some of the stuff that, like some of the computer cores that are medium res, like the Atari ST. Like the DOS stuff is medium res. It doesn't have low res, it's medium and high. Yeah, I've owned, I've owned uh, both Elvira games, pinball games. I've owned um, Scared Stiff and Party Monsters. And I'm going to, I think I'm gonna get, um, I think I'm gonna get the new Stern one here next. Yeah, it's not a it's not a fault. It's more of an inconvenience, but you also learn how to deal with it. 
Like some of the stuff that is only VGA, I just play on my capture. <laughs> like when I did that, um, when I did the DOS stream, I just played on my capture. But now that I have the HDMI splitter, because I'm actually using an HDMI, HDMI TV here, so now that I have that all that all splitter and set up and understood, um, it'll be better for when I get home. Richter, you're Vampire MSX, right? Yeah, but Zen, it definitely is a learning curve, but like, it's almost like the honeymoon period. <laughs> like, um, because you're getting to learn about all these old computers and cores and the ins and outs of consoles. Word. Party Monsters, yeah. Party Monsters is fun. Both those games make me laugh so much. The uh, both Elvira games, the early Elvira games. All right. Let's finish off 100 CC. Oh, so I did even better than A rank. I got double star. How much, how much longer I'm going to be there? Talking about B in New Hampshire? Why do you want to rob me? This shaking might be a side effect from me doing the scaling. Hold on. Do, 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 do. So, just... Let's just do sprites. No? This level was shaky? Really? Try turning it completely off. Weird. That might be a. But like you see, you see the resolution, guys. You see the resolution difference. Isn't that amazing? This is what the game normally looks like. Look at the draw distance too. Has to just be a fault. It's kind of horrible. <laughs> what if coins speed you up in this version? Where you at? I know you're right in my butt. Where you at? Oh, he fell off. No! Dude! Dude! I got robbed. You were creating a new VHD? Um, did you check out that MSX1 core yet? Is there any reason to check it out? And there's a new sofa run coming out, nice. Yeah, I haven't played with the MSX Core in a while. You got it pretty much perfect. Um, somebody was telling me there's a Konami game I saw tonight. It's called... I didn't take a photo of it. It's I saw a Konami arcade game and somebody... When I did, I did a stream earlier, I walked around Fun Spot. And... 
It's called Paradise Something. And somebody told me somebody told me that there's a MSX game version of it. I wanna play it, because that game rules. Wacky Racers, yeah. It's, it's two words though, it's Paradise Something. We can look we can look up Konami Arcade games. Let me look. It's an old rare game. Dude, Paradise is not a good goo word. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna find it. Luigi's fast. I hit myself. I did hit somebody else though. Didn't hit him. I thought that was a red shell, not a mushroom. Dang it. Bruh. Ah, oh, goofed. Oh, I double goofed. Triple goofed. Boo. What's up, Titan? How are you doing? Gonna be paradise, million paradise, para para paradise. It's a platformer game. It's a platformer. It's like an old platformer. Yeah, doing well. Had a great day. Playing some Mario Kart. Tied at twelve. That's not good. Yeah, I didn't realize that. My I looked at. I watched the bot of that. Because I use Twitch's app as opposed to uh, like a better app. And my output was 260p. <laughs> I didn't realize like a lot of the detail you guys were not seeing. The stream was steady though, so that at least that was good. Um, uh, what are you doing, dude? But... Yeah, and I accidentally closed the stream by accident by swiping up too much. Whoa! Don't remember those. This is not looking good. We might have to redo this one. Come on, dude.
Oh, he has a red shell. See? Red shell. <laughs> I knew it was coming. Ha 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 nice. So they tried to hit me with a red shell. And I was dragging a turtle shell, so it didn't hit me. What is that? Red shell? Okay. I'm going to put it behind me just in case. Yeah, that place is rad. Fun spot's great. I grew up going there uh, in the summers. And it was really safe. Like, I felt like it was safe. There's only like five people up, up, up in the uh, classic section. And everybody's wearing masks. I actually ran into uh, Eric Stone. <laughs> he's uh, originally from this area. And he's fourth fourth in the world at pinball. <laughs> we played some dollar games. He uh, he kicked my ass. <laughs> but honestly, honestly, I put up a good show, I think. I, I did hit Bowser. That's awesome. I mean, considering I'm like 2,000th in the world. And he's 4th. <laughs> we had some uh, really good Paragon games. This is a Super Nintendo course. Whoa. That's gonna hit somebody. Did not mean to shoot that. Oh man, that thing's right behind that, uh... Whatever these things are called, Goombas, I think. Whoa! That's a big curse word. Oh, buddy. I thought they can just activate. I thought there was a speed bump there, dang it. Oh, that's my banana, nice. This is not good. Buddy. What? Oh, Luigi, you're gonna die. You're gonna die, my man. No, he's not. He's gonna live. <laughs> Yeah, congratulations on uh, 16, Open MSX 16.0, that's awesome. <clears throat> I was reading the, um, I was reading the change log, uh, I was really impressed. A lot, that's a big release. Have I played in IFBA tournaments? Yes, I've played in hundreds of IFBA tournaments, I used to actually try. I used to be in the top 12 in uh, Florida, or top 20 in Florida for a couple of years. And then I just got tired of going to show, doing tournaments, wasting weekends, spending money, dealing with frustrated people, being a tournament director myself and not liking to, uh, not enjoying it. Cause uh, I would do it for free and people would treat you like, treat you like, uh, I don't know, they would treat you like you owe them something but you're volunteering your time so that they have fun. <laughs> So, yeah, it, it kind of burned me out for a while, doing tournaments. The SDL2 took a lot of work. Oh, man. Sorry to hear. Um, hope you're doing better. Rank D, dude. I got that D rank. 
So, is, is everything unlocked in the 100 now? <laughs> go back to work Wednesday? Nice. I wish I could go back to work. <laughs> Alright, so... We have gold stars on everything. Just gotta do the special cup. Didn't go to another one. See, and that, they don't have to be like that, Color Theory. Um, they can be fun. <laughs> if you, um... Here, I'll talk about this for a second. So, I don't know, people take it too seriously, the IFBA stuff, and they care about winning, and they do it for the money. Whereas, when I started the Tampa Bay Pinball League, I did it for fun. And it was in a smoky bar that played Slayer, and there was karaoke on one side, and they had a happy hour. It was amazing. That's like that's what I loved. And then people kept on asking and asking for IFPA stuff. So eventually, I moved to that format. I just didn't enjoy it as much. I also people I would only pull in the serious pinball people versus like casuals, and that's why um, if you guys remember any of my IRL vector tournaments, that's my old format, and that's fun. Where you have to play, you know, you have to play six games or ten games. The best person out of ten people gets ten points, nine points, eight points. It's just a lot more laid back. It's a lot more fun. Versus like serious IFBA stuff. It, I, I'm glad that people like it. It's awesome. It's helping establish like ranks and make it into pinball into a sport, but it's not for me. I do like Pinburg though. Pinburg's freaking amazing. Because Pinburg's two or two or three whole days of just playing pinball. I would certainly let people know that he's doing it for free. <laughs> they don't like it, they piss it off. <sighs> yeah. I'm I'm pretty nice in person. I would never tell anybody to piss off unless they really made me mad. Yeah, but color theory, look for look for a non IFPA pinball tournament. <laughs> I don't want you to to um never play in another pinball tournament because of the one bad experience because they, they they can be a lot of fun look for like wacky tournaments oh shit. like selfie leagues selfie leagues are great um pinball nights are great pinball things that call themselves pinball leagues that meet like a week weekly those are great because those are usually sometimes they're ifpa but usually they're not But like when I when I'm in pinball tournaments, I like I want to talk to people. I want to talk about the game. I want to drink. <laughs> um, I'm not like Mr. Serious. Dude, they both got screwed there. I like this song. Well played, well played. You biscuit eater. Hi, I'm Bowser. I can just be <laughs> invincible whenever I want to. Should be good. You're in Portland? Dude, there's gotta be there's gotta be some stuff in Portland. Yo, what's up, Chibi? Is Pinberg the Papa Championship? Um No, Papa has their own stuff. Pinberg used to be held at Papa. At the I those are the those are the, the chef kiss days. Those are the days, man. Old Papa, so cool. Except for the bathroom. The bathroom was absolutely horrible. <laughs> Banjo Pilot. I have not. Some great places in Kansas City. Nice. Yeah, it sucks about COVID. 
Hopefully in a year we can act like this didn't happen, but we'll see. It was nice to play pinball today, especially against somebody. Also the Super Nintendo track. <gasps> Didn't mean to do that. Luckily, I did not die. What you want? Who says something? Dude, that, that little skip right there is so dangerous. Uh, what is it? Red shell? I'm gonna put it behind me. Uh, Pincinati, I have heard of it. How's the barbecue in Kansas City? I'm sure it's amazing. Living there for 20 years, nice. So, Burger Dog? Staying healthy and sane? Yo, Leviathan, how you doing? Welcome. Club 403, okay. Oh, that was nasty. I'm gonna keep the gonna keep this protection here. The Peach has killer turning radius in this game. Her uh, acceleration is really bad, though. <gasps> no! Did I hit anybody? I didn't. Did I turn the high resolution back on? Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yes. Dude, I don't have my beard trimmer here, and it's driving me crazy. My, like, mustache is too long. <laughs> Use a lot of TLC. Yeah, you have to have a. The good thing about IFPA tournaments, I will tell you this, and the place that holds IFPA tournaments is those pinball games have to be in nice shape. Because if not, they are gonna people are gonna complain. So a lot of times when I want to go play in an area I'm not familiar with, I'll look up where IFPA tournaments are and I'll go play there, because that means their machines are gonna be maintained well. Oh, so, uh, some more details about Avengers. It's a new pinball game. And... That flip is gonna do a pro launch... Pro stream. Ugh. I do not remember this one at all. I'm gonna save the star. Yeah, this is the Super Nintendo one, too. Could a power slitter on that. What's up, Ryan? Oh, shoot. Okay. How close are they? Okay, I got a decent lead here. Jinxed. I jinxed myself. First word. What? What I? What did I hit there? I didn't see it. I should have put that behind me.
<clears throat> Sucks to suck. Oh no! <laughs> Did I get him? I did. Nice. My stomach says hi. Oh, I keep on running into stuff on this one. Pinball is expensive. You absolutely love Mario Kart and GBA. Yeah, join the join the crew. You never liked it. Just play play princess. They're so expensive. So pinball games seem super expensive. I mean they are. They seem super expensive at first. I was an arcade collector and a console collector for the longest time. But they're they're li they're liquid assets. You can sell a game on the drop of a dime and usually make more money. If it's a game that goes out of production and it's in high demand, you make more money for it. And if not, at the worst, you get a new game, you lose a couple hundred bucks, and you sell it. If you get an older game and you fix it up, you can make money easily. I usually always make money. It's just the initial investment. Yeah, so um, we're playing this with, so I'll show you guys. We're playing this with 2X, so 2X resolution, which is a, a feature of this Game Boy Advance core. You can wa watch the background and watch the sprites. So this is what the game normally looks like. So that's what the background enhanced. That's what the sprites enhanced, but you can't, it's the, the scaling and the detail of the sprites. And this is with both of them. So like, it's, it's really impressive what this core can do. And GBA is a lot more powerful than the Super Nintendo. I, I often think of it as a uh, Super Nintendo on steroids. That's like sometimes when you play games on here, you think you're playing Super Nintendo, and then you're like super impressed with what they're able to do. Like I was completely impressed with um, Drill Dozer. That game would have been a beast on the Super Nintendo. I think I can fall off. Can I fall off? I am not gonna try. Pretty sure I could just straight up fall off. Oh shit. Yes, that is that is a that is a very strong yes. Oh sh shoot. Oh my god. This is nasty. Are you kidding me, dude? Oh Bowser, you're you're gonna die. Yoshi, get out of the way. I don't, I don't want to hurt you, Yoshi. I love you. But Bowser has to pay. Look at this turning. Look at the turning on Peach on this. It's insane. Um... Did you guys see what I just did? <laughs> I fired some turtles and then I ran into them by doing the speed up. Oops. It's a, it's a big oops. That's a big oops too. <laughs> Dude, why is Rainbow Road always like the hardest freaking... Okay, let's do this. That's it? You gotta be like... Oh. <laughs> you have to go like full yellow on Rainbow Road, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna have to try again. I got wrecked. Whoa. I'm pretty sure 8th or 7th isn't gonna do it for me. $50? 
51? Asterix XXL. Is that that cartoon character? I don't know if I've seen that. I wanna, um... Oof. I'm lucky there was bricks there. I wanna play through Wireland 4 eventually. That's a really technical, amazing game. But it's gonna be a commitment, so... It's gonna be like a couple of weeks. It's gonna take me a couple of weeks to learn it. But that is eventually on the list. You see that big brain move I just did? Big brain move. Dude! Rainbow Road is freaking dangerous. Dude, this song rules. I'm gonna go get some more, uh, doers. Hot jams. Okay. Big brain. Warland 4 is easy. Bag, are you fucking kidding me? Have you seen the speedrun of Warland 4? Try to think of finding a machine for 500 bucks. Nice. Yeah, and then work on it. Driver 2. Uh, I haven't seen Driver 2. Yeah, I don't really know how to work that much on uh, electromechanical games. I have a couple of them. EMs are super intimidating. If you open them up, the entire bottom of the cabinet is just relays and switches. And you can actually mess them up by uh, over, over cleaning and adjusting. I've heard they're like, once you can read schematics really well. Um... That EMs are super simple, but I don't have too much experience with them. A rank, nice. What does that mean? Yeah, twelve hundred's a lot. I wouldn't pay more than five hundred bucks for a non-working game unless it's like a really nice game, like a D and D game or something. Oh, there's credits, nice. All right, so I'm gonna go get some whiskey and some more water. I'm gonna let this play. BRB in just a few minutes. Um, we can do more Mario Kart if you guys want, or I'd be down to check out games that you guys recommend on the GBA. Cause there's some I haven't heard of that you guys have mentioned. All right, be right back.
Alright, so we had Asterix XXL to check out. What other games did you guys mention? Incredible trash. <laughs> Driver 3, okay. I have a list of my, my own too. There's like that Yeti, that weird Yeti like GTA game. It's really weird. Yeah, what's up, August? The crazy taxis on here? Driver. Oh man, my neck is popping. Looks kind of slow going. Asterix Alright, that's the only ones I can find. Smashing drive? move on then, since we seem to have a decent list here. So I think the mirrors are going to be open now. Advance, I don't, Advance Wars is fantastic, but it's not my type of game. I have a hard time getting into it as well. So, I thought... Maybe it's because I have a rank D. A star. Because I, I thought I remember. Yeah, I thought I remember that you could load mirror versions of all the tracks. Alright, let's check out Asterix. Alright, so we're just gonna jump around here. I just wanna check these. Have you guys seen Astro Boy? BTW? Yeah, my buddy Mike's really good at uh, Advanced Wars. This game is sick. Military Madness? Oh, uh, yeah. One of your favorite games ever, nice. Wonder if this has a good demo. You had this game growing up? I have a I have a copy of this. Oh, it's too hard for me to jump into burger. It's uh very technical. To, like play seriously right now. I should do a I should do a playthrough though one night. Birth. Look at that nose. It's a honker, dude. Oh yeah, it takes you through. So the game's like, you know, game's gonna be really advanced when uh, it has a freaking tutorial. Yeah, so like, Yeah, it's treasure. And it's very... So, treasure games are always, like, fantastic. But their control schemes are always, like, bruh. Like, what do you, what, what do you, what do you want me to do? <laughs> like, I want to learn Mischief Makers so bad, but... Jesus. Alright, 
I wonder if this has a speed run. Yeah, dude, it, it rules. We should do it. We should do a playthrough one day. I know I've tried to play it on the stream before, but um, I didn't give it too much time. Let's see, I forgot which. reading a damn thing come on I just want to get to the level you guys can see the level like look at that dude are you kidding me I just skipped over health by accident.
Oops. Nice. See? Game rules. What's up, Tater? Stream setup looks way comfier now. Um, compared to my normal setup. So that's Astro Boy. Sorry, I got, I got distracted. My game's rad. I do want to play through that. Looking for Asterix. Wait, what? I thought we were looking for... Asterix XXL. Is it not US? Oh, there we go. Probably not my ROM list. Bro, do you know me? Do you know me? I got all the stuff. I mean, legal backups that I own. It's a little loud. I think I've actually seen this before. The classic. Not sorted by region. Look like the wind. We'll see. Uh, no, none of the handheld games run at 50 hertz because it's handheld, aka providing your own screen. So they run at 60 hertz. It's the this two second loop though. like that when I grow up. Oh, this freaking music loop dude's killing me. Guess what? Are you guys ready? Ah, oh, dang it. I wonder if the 2x resolution is happening here. Let's turn it off. It is. Maybe it's not. Let's turn it off. Oh, it looks a lot better on your screen. pretty good on your screen. From my point of view, I'm looking at a 50 inch TV. It doesn't look too good. <laughs> but on the capture, it looks amazing. So is this, um, is this on like PlayStation and other stuff as well? Uh, 
LNR change your direction here. But yeah, it looks good for you guys. It looks horrible for me. Let's play off the capture. So what's different about XXL? Cause I saw the normal game was in here and this was XXL. Okay, I can't move this anywhere though. Yeah, I guess it's pretty impressive with how smooth it how sm oh the big guy. Look at you big braining it in chat. Kind of getting me sick, actually. There's a so there's a fisheye effect on the corners. You guys see that? That's making me sick. <laughs> I think um, I think it was easier to just use samples. So a lot of Game Boy games, you will hear. Will just be like samples. That was that problem. That was one of the big problems with that um, beat 'em up game that we played on here. It was it was just loops and samples. I'm actually sick now. I shouldn't have kept on moving it around. All right. Uh, let's look at the list here. Driver three. I kind of want to play through Drill Dozer again. I was thinking about doing that when I was up here. So is it this right here? Driver 3? Driver with a 3? Oh man. It is really cool that it's all being rendered. I like drum and bass too. Isn't this the game you guys mentioned? I guess we'll just load it up. Driver with a three, okay. I'll actually put this in the title.
Do I need to reboot? What? Sprites are so big. That's like a 20 inch AK in front of my face. <laughs> Is this based on a movie? I think it's a compression algorithm. You probably wouldn't see it on the Game Boy that, that well. Warping effects happening in this too. I wonder if that's the upscaling. Let's look. No, it's not the upscaling doing that. So this is a Grand Theft Auto clone. Can I get in your car? Hi, excuse me. Oh. I just stole a car in front of a cop car. Okay, so you guys don't know how I play Grand Theft Auto. I just terrorize. I just terrorize the city. Um, I never <laughs> had this girlfriend that played uh, Grand Theft Auto a lot. And I would just, I'd be like, come on, can I play? And I would just do stupid stuff the entire time. I would do that with uh, Red Dead Redemption too. This is this is actually really impressive. So this is what we do for the next hour. <laughs> I don't know, Titan. How do I get out of this car? Get a better car. Steal a cop car. Okay. You can just steal a cop car. Oh, it's faster. Where are we supposed to be going? Uh, hello?
I like that the cars don't take damage. Oh, I'm a cop? So that's why. Thanks for ruining it, bag. It's super floaty. What is it you say I do here? <laughs> what should I be doing? I'll try to do like one of the missions. You guys can tell me what to do. There's a Corvette. All right, good night. <laughs> All right. It looks more than more playable than the PlayStation game. Nice. All right, so the list here. The Yeti game. I'm gonna check this game. Nuts. Is this a zone of the Enders, really? Where? What? What? Uh, yes. Gameplay, though? <laughs> nice donut.
Wait, what? I think we have an advanced wars here. How to RPG. It's not something that I do. Probably shouldn't be spoiling this game for you guys because I actually do want to play through this. This is, a, this is a sneak peek though. Sneak peek. Yeah, it's been played at GDQ, that's actually how I found it. It's basically Grand Theft Auto 2. What a Yeti. This is not pleasant on a giant screen, by the way. Yo, what's up, Serial? <laughs> the fuck? Female Yeti screams, and it's coming from the mainland. You've got to find a way over there before another Yeti does. Hurry up, Yeti. Where's the mainland? Oh, I hit select and it's a dance party, by the way. Alright, this is a good game. So wouldn't you be running from a Yeti? Female Yeti yet. The cop just shot me. You can't go where Urban Yeti it's a toll bridge, okay? Toll is four dollars. Looks like you need a job. Find a newspaper and check the classifieds. Uh, what? I'm trying to go bang this other Yeti, and I have to go get a job so I can take a toll bridge?
Invader. I can't have another dance party. Dude. What's going on up there? Dude, it keeps on pointing up to here, this building. I think I need that paper. Oh, that's the classifieds. This is a normal game. Oh, so there's a bridge. Okay. There's a bridge, there's a bridge. So I have to get up there somehow. There's another bridge. Oh, there's a ramp right there. Okay. I think I died. Great, now I can't find where I was at. So I think I have to go do the toll first. Dude, that's the wolf 3D dog sound. That doesn't sound good. Quite the game, huh? Apply within the hours. So you have to go to an interview?
What a what a weird weird game. Come back at 7:30. So what are you supposed to do? Just like kill time till 7:30? Neighbor? Okay, here we go. Dude, can I survive? Soup kitchen manager. Urban Yeti serving up good food and good times at the soup kitchen. <laughs> you didn't know what you were missing until now. <laughs> Oh, uh, no. They want this. So it's Tapper. Oh, there's money. Bug kicked. Oh, they take money if you don't get, don't get them what they want. Feed bags. Feed bags. Alright, that's a game. We'll do a complete playthrough of that one night. It'll be fun. I said it's a good game. You forgot the word good.
smashing drive. Yeah, that's a that's a good intro. So you just go crazy on this game. wish the screen was smaller that I was playing on. Probably looks good to you guys. Look good? Yeah, it looks good to you guys. This looks horrible for me. <laughs> Who that is? Retro Game Arcade. How you doing? Welcome, we're playing, uh, we're checking out a bunch of weird Game Boy Advance games. This is Smashing Drive. Pretty impressive, actually. Hope you had a good stream. What were you playing? With no backlight, yeah. You know what's up, Shane? So do we have to ram this dude? He's a wild man. This is ambitious as hell. Holy crap. It looks like crap on my screen. Probably looks good for you guys, but... I'm seeing square pixels that are about an inch big. But this is super ambitious. The list is long. <laughs> Combat Aliens Robocop 2. Nice, nice, nice. Honk it up. The Beeford. Yeah, well, guys, I'm playing on like a 50 inch TV up here, and these pixels are like probably up, like, I don't know, like uh, they're huge. They're freaking huge. <laughs> Plus the resolution of the Game Boy Advance is uh is not is is a lot less than a uh, Super Nintendo. Yeah, I'm a huge fan of MK1. I have a full board set and uh I want to see those now and then on stream. What is it even saying? 
Do what you wanna do, say what you wanna say. I left the board Monday. It sounds like it's like trying to be Power Man, Power Man 5000. But it was like, it was made, it was like, <laughs> it's like you, you went to Fiverr and you're like, I want to, I want, I want a song for my racing game that sounds like Power Man 5000 and you paid $5 for that song. That's what this song is. <laughs> And the guy who made it was named The Joker 420XXX. Hurting my eyes. Dude, we gotta get this guy. I'm gonna go past it. Oh, it pushed me that way. Dang it. I have no idea how to beat that. Beat that stage. Same song too. I think I have plane wings. Yeah, this game's pretty amazing. <laughs> Took care of him that time.
I haven't seen this on a Metal Jesus Hidden Gems video. Game's pretty amazing though. I wonder how I destroyed him so quickly last round. Straight up ran him off the track. I'm missing all the power ups here. Do you have to like memorize the stages for the power ups? I'm not gonna make it seven seconds. The time's too tight, dude. Oh shit! Not jams? I want this game to be good. Maybe just the arcade mode's too hard. Let's look at the regular mode. Why did they give me a horn? I like it. <laughs> Got him. What? I don't know. I think I have to double rev. There we go.
No idea how to get that turbo up there. You have to memorize the drops. That stinks, dude. I wonder if there's cheats here. Stop timer. So we should play this with stop timer. Not tonight, but... Definitely want to check this game out more. Alright, we'll look at Invader real quick. So, Pimble was? Yeah, that was Smashing Drive. This is Invader. This is a chat recommendation so far. I like that Game Boy Advance games are all like drum and bass, electronica. The rarest. That's cool. Uh, not a dick up there. Don't don't look up there. It's definitely not a penis.
I think I looked this up. Have a Euros from up here. I think so. Give it a go from the beginning. Jesus. I just died like four times. This game is not mess around. I in general in general I don't like Euro Shmups. They're just too hard and not fun. That's the lock on mechanism. That's cool. I'm pretty sure this game's really long too. 
because I looked at it. I remember when the Game Boy Advance score came out. I uh, I looked up all of the shmups on the on there, and I um, watched long plays. And I'm pretty sure this game's like super long. All right, so that's uh, Invader there. Let's see, I had some other ones here on Pasteman. Let me find my Pasteman. I played this one offline. I'll show it to you guys real quick though. It's, uh... <laughs> Not into the other ones. You like that game though? Invader? Oh yeah, the cop can annihilate you. Three hits. 
but it's a super bland. Fortunately, it's super bland. I'm gonna play through this game here soon. I'm just gonna get rid of the title. Look at various. This is a alien hominoid. It's it looks like it's a metal slug with cartoon graphics. That looks like Invader Tim. <laughs> But it's kind of, kind of in, uh, endearing, like, there's a lot of style points going on here. Is this new grounds? Yeah, this game's kind of adorable. So we'll play through this here soon. Did I just die? The reason why I haven't played through it yet is because it does look like it requires skill and practice. Dude, these are straight up deaths. Continue? The long, the long play was was something super long. I'm pretty sure the long play was two hours. So I imagine it's going to take me blind five or six. So I haven't wanted to commit to that yet. But we'll play through this uh, in the next month. I like to play with it on an arcade stick. I think it'd be a lot better on an arcade stick. I want to do Metal Slug 1 too.
I'm not sure what's going on there, if I'm like regenerating or what. Am I gonna one try to one CC Mono Slug? Yes. So that's an interesting looking game. Scourge Dive. I thought this game would be a good fit for Aquas. I might use this as my game request. Rope, rope. It's not unusual to get raided by Don't Panic Flip. So, guys, I don't. What did you play? We're checking out weird uh, Game Boy Advance games. This is Scourge Hive. Oh, an issue with the V-Sync here. Let's try to stabilize the picture. Uh, let's record a video. I forgot what to do for this. I think it's sync core to video. What's up, X? What's up, Flipchronic? What's up, uh, Wheel of Pinball? So yeah, we're just we're just going through games and uh, taking quick looks at them. Are those Robo Babes? Nice yeah, shirt. Sure. I love me some Elvira. Blocking the best part though. Hey Wax, thank you for the twenty-five bits. Let me get to the game. That booty though. <laughs> it won't let me skip over any of this. She got that black. She got that black widow booty. What's up, Samus? Zero suit. Planet Anus. This game is supposed to be like a hidden gem. It looks. It looks really cool from the videos I've looked at it. So it's a uh, isometric 2.5D type of uh, action game. I'm really bad at 2.5D games, but I wanted to see if this is like. I was thinking about making Aquas play this. He better not be in stream. Okay, he's not good. Thanks again, uh, Don't Panic, for the raid. Looks a bit like Alien Syndrome. We were... oh yeah. We were just playing Alien Homo, Homicide. Homicide. Definitely influenced by Metroid. Dude, this freaking type. Can I... can I play a game? What's up, Zuki Zero? 
Hope you guys are having a good night. Back to hit button. I got to play some pinball tonight. So I went to Fun Spot in Laconia, New Hampshire. And I see Eric Stone walk by. <laughs> Eric is uh, originally from Weirs. So, uh, yeah. Played against the, the fourth best player, the fourth best ranked I, uh, pinball player in the world. And lost $5 to, uh, to dollar games. <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> Proc? Proc, you're too, you're too, uh, you're too young for this. You need to look away. Um, can one of my mods make my stream 18 plus, please? Uh, we played Paragon, um, and Xenon, and we tried to play Flip Flop, but it didn't work, and then Captain America. Hey, guess, guess what, guys? More, more, uh, more reading. Yeah, it turns out he owns a Xenon. I learned that real quick. <laughs> I did almost beat him in Paragon, though. Oh, and Sinbad. I played Sinbad as well. I freaking love Sinbad. Especially for versus games. Maybe I can turn the sync core off. What did, uh, what did George play tonight? This looks pretty cool. Ninja Turtles. Nice. Is Ninja Turtles good? I've played it a handful of times and so far... I think it's too hard and there's no points. I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. But I think you might need the premium or LE because uh, I've expressed this opinion already. Because the the diverter doesn't work like shadow. It, it works more about the diverter is more about getting it on the right flipper when you need it, and it automatically handles that with the software. All right, good night, uh, Titan. Or good night. Yeah, this looks pretty cool. From a local arcade, nice, Shane. Any chance you can add Day of the Tentacle to the images? Um, so, Proc, there's a two gigabyte uh, VHD. You can just mount it in Windows and drag and drop um, game installs on it. I have a couple people making me VHDs for the AO 48, 486 core, and they're grouping it together by category. So there's going to be like a LucasArts one, there's going to be like a 3D platformer one, and they're all going to be optimized for the setting. So I should have a handful of VHDs, and then you just load that VHD. You have no Windows box to do that, got you.
Yeah, I'm still not sure how I feel about turtles. At first, I really liked it, but... I liked Aerosmith a lot when it first came out as well. I don't really care for it anymore. Whoa! This game is pretty rad. Brock, I can't believe you haven't been to Fun Spot. Of all places. That remaster is beautiful as well as Zab's Odyssey. Nice. Yo, what's up, Gabra? Welcome. It's, yeah, definitely, that's my, my general um, problem with 2.5D games is the shooting and aiming is wonky. Yeah, but it, yeah, Prague, honestly, it's worth like com coming and visiting for. Wait, so what am I supposed to be doing? I assume I'm supposed to be leaving. There we go. Yeah, I, I know. I know it has your art in it. I, I, it was down today, but the cabinet was in perfect condition. Those um, Bally Sintra cabinets are really cool. Or Sinta or Sintra. They have like five of them. Those universal cabinets. So if uh, if you guys didn't see earlier today, uh, I went to Fun Spot. It's a huge classic arcade museum up here in uh, New Hampshire. And I did a stream from it. It's like, it's 260p or something really bad like that. But it's cool because I, I walked around and talked about all the different games and what was rare and what wasn't. Yeah, five of them. I posted some pictures in my Discord too. This game seems really cool. I don't feel like reading anything. Excuse me? Uh, so I probably have to get that 18% to like 100%. The way that it does like these explosion effects also makes me think I'm getting damaged, but I'm not. I still have full health. So that's one thing I don't like. So far, there's also a little bit of rubber banding 
with the the way the camera moves around. See that? And that's a little disorienting. That's the infection, right? Oh wait, you're reading. <laughs> Not supposed to read here. Mmm, whiskey. Was also on DS, nice. Evil Tic Tacs with teeth. Is Phobtronic in here? I want to talk about Hot Wheels. Yeah, I think this is a good fit for Aquas. Maybe. Uh oh, zero suit. Boo. No outfit change. It did kind of sound like Metroid. <laughs> this is high, highly influenced by Metroid. Infection is in your body, it reaches critical levels. Check your map to locate the nearest decontamination chamber. Okay. I don't know if I like this game or not.
I imagine I'm supposed to push these two things onto these. Both make them green. But I don't know how to do that. Because I wasn't reading. Oh yeah, that too. So what are we doing here? Hashman, thanks for the follow. I get it, but how do I... How do I move them? Oh, there we go. Yeah, it was L. Flipstream! Thank you. <laughs> Paying attention. Need you hear it more often. Alright, so we need to find another thing here. What? What does that do? First word. Okay. Oh, you're not back seating or answering questions. And in general, I don't mind backseating, as long as you're not criticizing uh, gameplay. I need to find a decon decontamination uh, chamber. I am close to dead. I'm screwed over here. I think I screwed the pooch.
There we go. Was there a... What was the main objective of this place? Oops. Am I supposed to do, be doing something? Next time, when I actually do playthrough games, I do read. Uh, I'm just kind of tired. And we're just cruising through the games. So I probably need to go back into this. It's just gonna be a pain. Turn on the power. These guys jump. They can. gets back to the map. Stupid Tic Tacs. Dude! Steve Pub. Four months, thank you. How are you doing tonight? I think I'm supposed to like crawl up and right. First bird. Good. good. <laughs> a lot of work to turn a switch on. Yeah, this game's uh, this game's big braining. I don't think it's necessarily needed. But 
I think that's going to be it for me. It's 240. I have to help uh, I'm gonna move some furniture in the morning. This looks good. This looks like a cool game though. I just saved. I bring up the menu to make sure I saved here. I did. I'll make a save state just in case. There we go. It looks interesting though. Oh, f I don't think I'll make Aquas play it. Or not make, but add it as a game request. But yeah, thanks for hanging out, guys. Uh, I'll be back, probably, most likely, I'll be back tomorrow. Um, I feel like playing some more Nintendo stuff. Sorry to end right as you're coming in, Steve O Pub, but uh, it's kind of late here. <laughs>